Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play The Witcher Enhanced Edition with Frozen Foxy. You guys voted on it, and uh, it turned out that most of you really, really wanted to see The Witcher. In fact, 50% of you had uh, voted on this. Uh, number two was uh, Dust at 20%. Watch Dogs was in third at 14%. And then we had uh, Grand Theft Auto, 11%, and 5% to Full Throttle. I'm actually surprised about Full Throttle there. But, uh, you know, you guys get to pick what you want to pick. That's uh, that's what this is all about. So uh, I'm glad we picked this. Uh, this is this is a really good game. If you uh, happen to follow me on Steam at all, uh, or are a friend of me on Steam, uh, you'll notice that there's about 960. 16 hours on my account uh, for this, which uh, I guarantee is not all gameplay. There's there's probably some nights where I just left the game on, but uh, I really did like this game. I haven't played it for a number of years, so uh, it's not like I'm going to be the uh, the expert at Witcher. But uh, I may know a few things here and there. I don't know why the the opening cutscene uh, always seems to have like this audio desync to it and like audio cuts and clips and it just uh, it never seems to to come across correctly, uh, whether recording it or or not. But uh, I, I do like that we we get to see uh, uh, Geralt taking on the uh, the Striga in that uh, in that opening scene there. Um, but we don't really get to uh, to hear about even though they they talk about uh Geralt uh recuperating at the end of the uh uh the thing before he's quote unquote forgotten um is that uh he technically goes to the uh the temple of uh, uh Melitelli um to uh to see uh sister or mother Ninica um to uh to get healed there so uh uh, lots of lots of little interesting tidbits that uh, I don't I don't think really come up in the games too much. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and hit a new game. I don't have any games to load here, uh, mainly because the last time I played this was on a different computer, one that I don't have right now. <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll definitely be uh, we'll definitely be just playing as we are. Um, but we have uh, play the Witcher venture through a dark world where there is no good or evil, just choices and their consequences. Um, or we can play one of the new adventures, each of which tells a singular story based on the world and the characters of The Witcher. Um, well, we're going to play the uh, the full Witcher here, uh, the full original Witcher game anyway, um, which uh, consequently doesn't really uh, uh, link into any of the stories or the Netflix show that's uh, that's going on uh, as we speak. Um, but uh, it, uh, it is its own thing, and I, I do like what it is for what it is. So we have uh, easy, which is for novice gamers. Combat is easier. Alchemy is not required to survive. We have uh, medium or intermediate level. Uh, recommended for most gamers. Combat is challenging. Alchemy is useful. And then we have hard. For advanced gamers, combat is difficult. Alchemy is required to survive. I will definitely not be doing hard because I guarantee I will get screwed terribly if I do that. Um, I will try to do it on medium at the very least because uh, easy is ridiculous. Uh, if this was a stealth game, I would do hard all day long, but uh, a medium is where we're going to sit at. Then we have uh, either mouse or mouse plus keyboard. The mouse is the preferred uh, method of playing this game, featuring an easily controlled smart isometric camera. Recommended for casual gamers and those wanting a more strategic overview of battles. Control mode can be changed at any time during the game. Uh, while it's, it's great that this is a, a strategic mode uh, of sorts and kind of in a way reminds me a little bit of uh, how you do things in Mass Effect. I prefer the uh, keyboard and mouse method, um, which uh, is kind of an over-the-shoulder camera. Uh, it's a dynamic, as they say. Uh, recommended for experienced gamers and those who want to get closer to the action. Control mode can be changed at any time, once again, um, but we will be using the keyboard plus mouse. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played this game, so I'm probably not going to remember too much about it. It. Except we're going to uh, Kermoran. Awesome. The northern kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. 
A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering what had happened to the witchers. The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin, the year 1270, five years after the Great War. friends, though you look like you just left your grave. I remember nothing. We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Kaer Morin. Tris. Your time nears its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. Explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Geralt, we go. I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kermoran. Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path?
Wait for the rest. He's alone. The Professor promised 50 orans for every freak we kill. He's mine! Bezimir! We got company! I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. They're just gonna throw you straight into that action. <laughs> You know, for, for all the expose that they're doing uh, in this opening scene, it feels like they really aren't explaining much at all. And they uh, they kind of explain that away with uh, the Geralt has forgotten things. <laughs> anyway, we have to uh, move the cursor over to the sword and left click to equip it. Um, we'll be back in just a second. I want to check something because it looked like there was some screen tearing uh, during that opening cutscene. I'm not sure. Uh, if that, that was coming through. There was also some glitching, too. So we'll be right back in just a sec. All right, well, it seemed okay. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it remains okay. All right, we got a whole bunch of people fighting over here. Getting crazy. Give me that rusty sword. So we can uh, left-click on an enemy to attack it. Uh, tip, hostile characters have red vitality indicators. Friendly characters have green vitality indicators. And uh, they don't really, uh, they don't really tell you it up front, I don't think. But you can technically uh, switch through different attack styles. I think you're just stuck with a single attack style uh, to begin with. I'll make you school. Stay away. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. So what they really don't uh, even bother mentioning telling you is if you're not clicking right at the time that you're uh, that you're seeing kind of a little bit of flame on your sword, you're you're just kind of canceling your combo attack. <laughs> I think I think if they had said that earlier in the game, I think they do say it at some point. But uh, if they had said it somewhat earlier in the game, then it would have made it easier uh, for for newer players to this game. Anyways, uh, over the shoulder camera movements. Uh, in over the shoulder OTS mode, move using the WASD keys. I always say WASD. It says W sad keys here, but whatever. <laughs> the WASD keys. Um, rotate the camera by moving your mouse and uh, press and hold shift to unlock and freely move the cursor. Tip: switch to the uh, other camera modes by pressing F1 or F2. Doesn't look like there's uh, anything we can uh, really loot off of these guys right now, but uh, uh, yeah, I think we're just we're just stuck to the one combat mode for uh, for the moment, probably because uh, everything we're about to fight against doesn't really require another combat mode. We can uh, also uh, one of the things that uh, they don't really mention is you can kind of hold Alt uh, and see things uh, around the area, so you can kind of figure out where people are, where items might be on the ground. This is uh, uh, something that I feel like is kind of a holdover from uh, from my old days uh, playing things like Diablo. Are you just breaking the wall, huh? What's up, Leo? Are you just gonna, gonna run away from me? Man, no one likes my face. What's wrong with my face? Do they just not like scars or something? I don't think there's anything else over here to really uh, pick up. You really want to explore this place uh, just because it looks so vast and open. There's There's got to be stuff around here, but it's like empty. Totally empty. Um, but uh, 
Kaer Morhen is, uh, is kind of the Witcher's Keep, the place that they go uh, home for the winter to train and uh, get away from the monsters and all. Am I just, uh, I guess I'm just following Leo, because he's kind of waiting around for me to, uh, to show me where to go. It's really unfortunate that they don't, uh, uh, put a lot more things, but it really looks like you can, you can kind of tell that this, this castle is very worn down, and there's, there's a, a large round boulder here, like we've been, uh, we've been hit by a, uh, catapult or a trebuchet at some point. I love that they have those uh, those little kind of elements in this game. Hey guys, what's up? I'm running in place. What's happening? Need to get my steps They're in. They're trying to break down the gate. They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. He's also really dedicated to shaving his head. Burn that hair straight off. They're coming up here. Get ready! There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bell's in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits, though one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. It's Fox, not Wolf. Alright, so we can follow the uh, minimap marker to find the quest objective. We can uh, left click on the map icon or press the M key to uh, view a map of our current location. Excuse me, Geralt, I didn't tell you to run away. So we can check out our map here and we can see that we're supposed to run there and there's a gate winch over here. Um, and it looks like. Uh, Currently, they're just going to block these guys who are coming up this way while uh, Triss Marigold over here tries to uh, to stop the Frightener. Hey! Come here, you little shit. This guy just sneaking up behind me while I'm looking at the Frightener. Finally, finally they tell us about uh, chain attacks here. Uh, chain attacks kill enemies more efficiently... I thought it was like way later that they actually told you about chaining attacks than uh, than here, but uh, this is this is actually pretty decent where they're they're telling you about it. Left click only when the cursor changes into a flaming sword. Tip: chaining attacks requires precise timing. No, it doesn't. <laughs> click too soon, uh, and you'll disrupt the attack. And clicking too late will restart the attack sequence. So um, I think the uh, I think the one that had the most difficult timing that I can remember uh, long, long ago was uh, Legend of Dragoon. That was that was rough on the timing. I, I always used to uh, grab the item that would just auto-complete uh, the combos in that game. <laughs> 